Hi everyone, in the last lecture we saw there is some problem with C in. It doesn't work when you have a white space in the input that we have already seen. Now let us dive little bit deep and see how it actually happens. Okay. So firstly, what do you do? You type some characters on your console. Let's say you type in hello world and this all, all of them remain on the screen until you hit enter. Okay. So once you press the enter button, they go in a part of a memory, which is known as a, let's say input buffer. Okay. There is an input buffer that is there. And inside this buffer, these are stored like this. We have hello, H E L L O followed by a space followed by a world and followed by a new line. Okay. So this, this is what, uh, goes inside the buffer. Now your scene starts reading this input one by one. Okay. So scene starts reading this one by one and as soon as it sees a white space. Okay. So this, uh, this can be a space or it can be a new line. The scene functionality that is written that is present in the header file. It does not process white spaces. Okay. It stops and what it does, it actually stores only the word hello in your input. So that's why only the hello world, uh, only the word hello gets stored as input inside your array. Okay. So although the array is big, but only this much part is stored inside your array and this space is automatically replace, replaced by a null character. Okay. So this is done by the functionality that is written behind C, C in. Okay. And that is the reason the scene does not work with white spaces. So if you're not sure, let me show you again by taking one more example. So, and we will see why we need some more in, uh, functions to take input. Okay. So let's uh, do one thing. Let us try to take input, uh, some word, let's say int word or maybe int sentence which can store up to thousand letters. I say C in sentence and I do C out sentence. So if I do the same thing again, uh, but this should be care and now it should work. Let us go to our terminal and dot slash scene dot get. So if I say, okay, hello, how are you? So I will get only the word hello as the output because of the same reason. Now what I want, I, wa I will teach you a different function that is known as scene dot get. So what it does, it will accept one character at a time. Okay. It only reads one character at a time, but it will read all the, all types of characters. Okay. It can read everything, including spaces. Okay. Everything. So let us see how we can use this scene dot get function and how we can read and store this sentence as an input, uh, in the array. Okay. So I, our goal is to read this sentence and store it as an input in the array. So what I can say, I can say, read the first character. So I can say ch equals to maybe uh, car temp equals, let's say, uh, scene dot get. Okay. So this reads one input, uh, character from the buffer. Okay. Let's say input buffer is like this. Hello space world. First scene dot get statement will read this one only. Okay. And it will return to the temp from the temp. You can put this inside the array. You can say, okay, I'm going to put this temp at this particular location in this array. So, so something like this we can do. So I can say while this temp is not equal to, let's say not equal to backslash n. That means till we have not reached the end of line, what I can do, I can do C out temp. Okay. I'm not storing it right now, but we can store it. And maybe one thing we can do also do is we can calculate the length of the sentence that we have read. Okay. So I can say uh, length equals to um, one. And here we can say length plus plus. And finally we can say, uh, this is not needed now. We can just see out length and L. Okay. So we read the first character from here and 
for for the next characters okay so one thing i missed is i should update the value of temp by reading the next character so temp should be equal to scene dot get so this is what we have done we have put a loop iteratively and every time we are reading one character from the input buffer and that is going into the value temp okay so uh, let us try to run this code and let me say hello so at this point the input buffer is empty okay so till i hit a enter the output is on the screen it is not going into input buffer so maybe hello how are you so you can see we are getting this entire output along with the length that is equal to 20 okay so what happened is everything went into input buffer okay so hello how are you and what i did i read this first character and i see this is not equal to null i read the second one i read the third one this so this is not equal to backslash n okay so after this question mark we have a backslash n so we basically stop at this particular point until we get a backslash n we will not stop we will keep on reading and the good thing about scene dot get is it can also read backslash n maybe you can have a certain other criteria maybe you want to stop at a hash you also want to read new line characters okay in that case what we can do is we are going to say okay we will stop at hash let new lines come okay so let me run this one hello new line how are you new line and stop it now okay and followed by a hash now you can see we are getting these outputs in chunks now why this is happening this is also an interesting phenomenon that we can discuss so what happened is when you first entered hello this was on the screen but you hit a new line it went into the buffer and once buffer has something okay the buffer is not empty and we have a code that is going to process this buffer okay so that comes into action that reads this entire buffer and it could not find a it could not find a new line character it printed hello okay and then at the new line character uh, nothing is going to happen we are going again going to print a new line so you can see after this hello we printed a new line okay so this is given by us this is given by the program again this is given by the us this is given by the program this is given by the us this is given by the program uh, so here here we have not given a new line we are given a hash here you will not find a new line here as well okay stop it now and there is no no such new line here okay so whatever we are giving as input including new line it is getting printed the only thing you should remember is the buffer gets uh, input from the screen once you hit an enter okay after hitting an enter you cannot change your input okay for example hello world you can still go back and forth that means these letters have not entered buffered yet but once you hit an enter they enter the input buffer input buffer is not empty and what happens is we have this logic that reads from the input buffer this reads from the input buffer okay and uh, we say okay read the first letter the length is one while temp is not equal to hash it starts processing letters one by one and it waits further okay so this while loop is waiting for the input to come in the input buffer until it does not get a hash this loop will not stop okay and every time we say okay we have read one letter it's not hash we increase the length we print the same letter and we use uh, temp equal to scene dot get okay so we we are now moving on to the next letter so this is about scene dot get and in the next lecture we will also discuss one more method that is pretty useful if you want to read and store sentences okay so one thing you can definitely do is uh, as a homework what you can do is instead of printing uh, this temp you can put this inside a array okay you store it inside a array once entire input is scanned print it here okay print entire output here okay so this is what you need to do and if you want some hint then you can watch the rest of this video so i'm going to tell you how it is going to happen so you need a variable let's say 
uh, j that is equal to zero and you can say uh, or you can say uh, sentence of length minus one this is equal to or you can simply say uh, length is zero and sentence of length equals to temp and length plus plus okay and this statement you can also put here as well after you have uh, uh, okay i guess uh, this should work we are doing sentence of length plus plus equals temp so length is zero we store the first letter at zeroth index we increment the length this is not needed now and this is not needed now and we can say temp equals to scene dot get so let me let me try to run this code and see what what is going to happen So maybe hello world, how are you? And followed by a hash. So we have a length 25. And we should build the code first. And we should see out 10 tens here. Okay. And also we should terminate the sentence of length with a null character. Okay. Otherwise it will not get terminated. So we can say, uh, hello, how are you doing? Now you can see, uh, we put a hash here and now it is terminated and we are getting the entire output at once instead of getting in chunks because now we are first storing and we are printing it at the end of the loop. So I hope uh, this is now clear to you what we just did. We read every letter one by one and we stored it inside a character array until we get a hash okay we can also stop it at new line and now if, if i give input so let's say how are you doing followed by a enter that gives a new line that will tell our program when to stop so it says length is 18 and how are you doing so i hope uh, this is now clear to you how to use scene.get generally it has a very rare use case but still you should know about it and in the next lecture we will discuss a function which will uh, reduce all this work into a single line okay we can all do this all this work in a single line using a new function that i'm going to teach you it is called as scene dot get line okay that's what we are going to learn in the next lecture thank you bye bye for now